What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having a fantastic day. It is Halloween over here and uh, we got a little bit of uh, work going on. Old Project Sub-Zero. Taking apart some stuff, getting ready for that motor that's about to be dropped in here. Oh, stay tuned on, uh, on that. We've been kind of neglecting Sub-Zero, but we got some parts already for Sub-Zero and some stuff coming on the way. So that truck's about to get some serious work done to it. That's why Junior's over there tearing stuff apart. So heck yeah. So obviously today's video is we got a new vehicle. But as you can see, Frostbite's still here. Sub-Zero's still over there getting worked on. Well, what can it be? Let's go check it out. Well, it's hooked to the trailer, so it must be another Ram. Oh, what we got here? We got a long bed, fourth gen, Cummins, baby. Oh, yeah. Guys, I can't say how much that I am loving the new truck. Four by four, 2017, with the six, seven Cummins and a long bed on top of that. Got the all-terrain BFGs on here, wrapped all the way around it. Crew cab. And this is the Tradesman, which is kind of the bottom of the barrel as far as trim goes. We got the cloth seats and everything, kind of like my old truck. However, this is an automatic with 4x4. The old truck was a two-wheel drive, and this has the manual four-wheel drive, which is awesome. I like that. Back seat is the crew cab, like I said. So there it is. That is the new truck that will be uh, basically this is going to be my daily now. So, some other things about this truck that we did not have on the 06 uh, Dodge Ram. 2500 that I had before is this truck has exhaust brake which is awesome um, sounds really good so there you go guys brand new truck to me obviously it's not brand new truck um, but this is a 2017 and it is new to me so uh, found a really good deal on it we ended up getting a pretty good deal on the trade-in of my old 06 2500 that we had um, that truck was really really nice for the age had very low mileage um, we only had like hundred and twenty eight thousand miles on the old Cummins um, but I was just kind of ready for something newer and a little bit more comfortable uh, the old truck as you guys knew was a six-speed manual which is you know really cool and really rare and hard to find uh, in good condition today um, as they don't offer a six-speed manual anymore in any of the Cummins trucks they're all automatics but because that truck became really my daily I've been driving it a lot more than I anticipated when I bought that truck when I got the truck you know that truck was mainly for uh, taking frostbite long distance trips to the racetracks or whatnot and uh, at the time I actually had a little little beater car um, that I was driving a lot um, that truck just really it started to wear that truck really started to wear me out um, as some of you guys know I opened up my own business not long ago um, going on about a year now we've been I opened up my own it's going on about a year now I opened up my own business and I was using the truck obviously for my daily personal use not only that I've been hauling equipment with it on the weekends delivering it back and forth to customers and 
and going in and out of neighborhoods a lot with my old truck with the manual transmission and my big 24 foot trailer um it just it just wasn't fun it was kind of aggravating to be honest so that's pretty much what stemmed you know that's pretty much what sparked the uh the new truck here i just i was kind of wanting to get an automatic again be a lot more comfortable um obviously we have a long bed now which I've never been a big fan of a long bed, but now that I have one, this is my first one. I really like it. I mean, the the room in the bed is just, you know, insane. Even after putting a toolbox back there, I mean, I can still put my golf cart back there if I want to. So that's pretty cool. I like having all the extra room. Obviously, the crew cab is awesome. There's lots of room in the crew cab uh, compared to the quad cab that we did have. So a lot more, not a lot more room in the truck for you know myself and the family as well. Um, the automatic transmission in this truck seems to be really good. Um, they seem to hold up to decent power. However, I'm not going to build this truck to go fast or anything. Uh, the truck is, uh, the truck does have a minor tune in it and it is deleted. So it doesn't have the debt fluid and it doesn't have, uh, all the mission junk on it. It's been deleted. It's actually straight piped all the way from the turbo back. Um, mostly was still the factory piping but all of the emission junk has been removed and has been straight pipe uh, welded in place of it so that's one reason i got this truck as the old truck doesn't have any emission stuff on it and you don't have to worry about any of that um, all the newer vehicles obviously can be kind of a nightmare especially the diesels with all the emission junk that they put on them now so finding this truck at a dealership i was actually shocked uh, when i got there and found out it was deleted um so that's one reason i bought it it was one less thing i would have to do um and uh yeah so other than that let me talk about the power of this truck compared to the old one now i love the old truck the old truck had that iconic Cummins diesel sound. Like it was, you know, the old 5.9 motors was was really loud and had a, you know, a lot of that iconic diesel sound. Um, the new 6.7s are actually pretty quiet con compared to the old ones. The 6.7s really quiet, um, but man, does it make so much more power. It is crazy. The the old 5.9 that we had before, I want to say the torque rating on them is around like the 550 range, somewhere in there if they're pretty much stock. The torque rating on these new 6.7s is like over 900 foot-pounds. It's insane. And that's not being tuned. You start tuning them and doing stuff to them, and it, I mean, it is, the torque is absolutely crazy what you can get out of these new diesels it is insane um towing wise man pulling the the my 24 foot car trailer with frostbite behind it holy crap dude this truck right here will pull anything you know the old cummins would pull anything it felt like as well but man i'm telling you there's a massive difference in power compared to the two trucks and obviously with the automatic the boost actually holds a lot better as with the six speed cummins that we had before you know every time you shift you're going to lose some boost especially if you're going up hills or anything so you do lose a little bit of power right there but having the auto makes a huge difference in the pulling power and just the power overall of what it feels like it is just it's crazy uh the other day we took frostbite to the track when we uh went and ran our new record time of 11008 and I pulled away from a red light, not really meaning to do this. I just kind of got into it a little bit. And with my 24-foot trailer on the back of this truck and frostbite on the trailer, this thing was smoking the tires from a dead stop and chirp second gear. It, I was like, holy crap, this thing will pull. But, yeah, I could talk and talk about this thing, like, forever. Uh, just wanted to show you guys the new truck. Uh, we'll obviously have some videos on here with some upgrades on the future. Just figured you guys would like to see it. I know I'm enjoying it. It's a blast to drive it every day, and it's very, very comfortable compared to the old truck. You know, it, it's nice to finally 
it's nice to just sit in a truck and drive it and not have to worry about changing gears anymore. Not to mention it's, you know, Frostbite is a fourth gen Ram and <clears throat> the old Cummins that we just traded for for this truck, that was a third gen. So it's definitely nice being back in a fourth gen truck and uh, it just kind of feels like, I don't know, more like home. Even though I really, really loved the old Frostbite hauler with the six-speed manual. Uh, the sound will just never sound the same, that's for sure. The, the old 5.9, you know, straight piped is just an absolute, just pure bliss sound. Um, it is just, <laughs> if you're a diesel guy, the 5.9 just sounds so good. Um, granted, like I said, the 6.7, as you guys heard it, it's nowhere near as loud as the old truck, even though this truck is straight piped. Um, but the six sevens are actually just, they're just a lot quieter. Um, and that's kind of good inside the truck. It's really quiet and, uh, yeah, but I've actually been seeing some tunes. Um, there's tuning out there that will actually make these six sevens sound a lot like a five nine. Um, not really sure what's all getting changed there. I got to look into it, but you know, just like what the world today, you know, the, 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 the tuning that goes into pretty much anything today is endless. I mean, you can really just, just about do anything with tuning now today. So, um, heck yeah. Definitely stoked on the new truck. Um, like I said, we've had the truck now for a few weeks and I've already put some stuff in it from the old truck. Like I got the toolbox transferred back to the bed already. Also got my old CB transferred in here. I'll let you guys check that out real quick. That is my Striker 955, and that radio is absolutely beast. You know, if you're in the CB stuff, I talk on it every now and then. Um, only because I got a pretty good long drive to work. You know, my drive's over an hour long to get to work, so it's nice to have it. You know, I'll hit up the truck drivers here and there. Plus, they usually know. Any, they, they usually know what's going on with the with the roads before anybody else does so that's one reason I got one um, that radio has been turned up a lot it's swinging over a hundred watts and then we got the old trucker sling right here for the mic where we can bring it over here and talk to it pretty easily but yep that's what we got going on with the uh, with the new truck right now but yeah guys that's pretty much it um, like I said we got a few upgrades coming for it soon um, we are gonna be upgrading the floor mats for sure right now I got uh, these are pretty much trash floor mats so I want to get some new ones so stay tuned for that video to come up here soon and I think and I think I'm gonna change the uh, exhaust a little bit um, I think I'm gonna go a little bit bigger diameter on the exhaust just try to make it just a little louder as you guys know I like my trucks loud um, I don't, I don't want to make this one too loud. I want to make it comfortable, but I want it to be a little bit louder outside. So, uh, we might go from whatever diameter this piping is. It looks like it's four. Um, we may go five inch all the way up to the turbo and just see how I like that and then go from there. Other than that, we're just going to kind of enjoy the truck and, uh, you know, we'll change a little bit here and there. I kind of want to do some sort of, I kind of want to do something with the stereo in this truck. Um, I'm thinking about changing up the door speakers and all the factory speakers and, and uh, do something with the sound a little bit. Like I said, this is going to be a daily driver, so I really want to make this truck, you know, really nice, really comfortable, and just kind of make it really fun to drive. But heck yeah, I think that's going to be it. So this is the new Frostbite Hauler 2017 Ram 2500 with a 6.7 Cummins automatic 4x4 crew cab. I'm loving this truck, guys. I love it. Like... I'm looking for any reason to have to go down to the store or go anywhere right now just because it's so fun and comfortable to drive this truck. It is just absolutely just so much pleasure to drive this truck. I can't even explain it. But that's going to do it, guys. Also, I want to mention, hey, it's starting to get cold outside. Even over here in Georgia, we're starting to get a little bit cold. So we got sweaters. Go check out the merch store. We got sweaters up, Hemi hurting feelings. I'm going to be working on some new designs here in the next few days. So definitely go check out the merch store. 
get your uh, winter hoodies while you can. That definitely helps the channel out a lot. And as always, guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and like button down there and tell me what you think of the new Frostbite hauler. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.